COVID-19 is going to get worse and the world feel like it's shutting down right now. It will get worse and worse before it gets better. Sabi nila, habang may buhay, may pag-asa. Taong 2019, December 31, kauna-una ang binalita ang pagkalat ng isang virus na tinatawag na corona sa bansang China. Hanggang sa kumalat ito sa iba't ibang panig ng bansa at nagbigay ng panganib at bumawi sa buhay ng milyong-milyong mga tao. Marami ang naapektuhan, mapa sa ekonomiya man, trabaho, politika, pati na rin sa edukasyon ng mga kabataan. Makikita mo kung paano binago ng pandemya ang dating maingay ng mundo. Ngayon, napakatahimik na. Isang taon at kalahatit na takalipas, hindi pa rin nawawala ang COVID. ang mga bagong kaso ng COVID-19 sa bansa ngayong araw. Napakarami pa rin ang kaso ng mga nadadapuan at namamatay dahil sa COVID-19. Dahil sa sobrang lungkot at pagkalugmok ko sa aking tahanan, linabag ko ang protokol. Dahil sa katigasan ng ulo at kababayaan ko sa aking sarili, ako ay naging isa sa mga taong nadatnan ng COVID-19. distance, hindered with covers, and masked with protection. Indeed, those were the solutions. Yet will that be the end game for this obstruction? I bet no one knows for sure. But bravely, we must face the future. Struck and guarded by the pandemic, yet remained in face for that in the overall systemic. For we were able to conquer genuine connections in such situation and had turned life with and without intimacy. Therefore, we must fight to survive, strive for safety and security despite this adversity. Follow the health protocols to secure the life and wealth we long for. Stay at home and stay safe. Then trust God with holistic faith.
There's 104 days of summer vacation And school comes along just to end it So the annual problem for our generation Is finding a good way to spend it Several students across the Philippines calling for a nationwide academic break in the wake of crisis that hounded the Philippines in the past weeks. suddenly become the world's greatest nightmare. It has resulted in the deaths of hundreds of thousands of people, as well as the forced closure and bankruptcy of the majority of the economy. The devastating consequences have stunned all of the nations impacted, forcing everyone to stay at home and put their typical lives on hold to a lengthy time. According to experts, face masks can safeguard people's health while also slowing the spread of COVID-19. A face mask serves as a barrier preventing the droplets from reaching another person. Always remember to wear your face mask, clean your hands, keep a distance, get a vaccine when it's already available to you, and follow the health protocol too. And, 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 COVID-19. Sanitize your arms before holding the medicine distribution tray. Make sure to wear your face mask to avoid any possible effect. Entering the room's patient, make sure that you're healthy and not easily infected. Check the temperature to make sure that he or she is recovering. Give the medicine and let him or her drink it for fast recovery. After having close contact to the patient, you have to wash your hands first. the use face mask during interaction with the patient. Lastly, sanitize your hands using alcohol.
Therefore, we must fight to survive, strive for safety and security despite this adversity. Follow the health protocols to secure the life and wealth we long for. Stay at home and stay safe. Then trust God with holistic faith. May isang batang nagdariwa ng kanyang kaarawan na paisipan ng kanyang magulang na maligo sila sa kanilang minipul, sa kanilang compound at bigla nilang narinig ito. Mayang aga sa aton nga tanan. Ini si Carlo N. Matangan, isa ka public health advocate. Nag-aawag sa tanan nga aton gid pagasundon ang tanan nga pagsulundan about sa COVID-19. Hindi gid kita magpakatigas ang aton mga ulo kay nagadamo na gid ang cases ang COVID-19 sa aton nga siyudad. Ang aton nga siyudad ara subong sa idalon sa general community quarantine. Pinadilian ang mga katawahan nga magwa sa ila panimalay kung wala man lang sa importante nga laktan. Sa mga pagligo sa resort o kon sa swimming pool, ang pagtipon-tipon kag iban man nga gathering, ini ginadilian man kag nakapagkit sa aton nga bag-o nga executive order number 17 sa aton nga probinsya. Sa liwat, ini si Carlo N. Matangan, isa ka public health advocate. Nagaawhag sa inyo tanan nga magsuksok sa mga face mask. Special kag i-practice ang social distancing kag frequent hand washing. Padayon kita sa pagbato sa aton kalaban nga hindi makita. Batuan nato ni ni pinaagi sa pagdisiplina sa aton mga kaugalingon. Keep safe everyone. Madam Ugig na salamat. Matapos nang marinig ang panawagan ng isang public health advocate, itinigil na nila ang kanilang paliligo. Gabi-gabi na ha, wala ka pang face mask at face shield. Di mo ba alam na bawal yan? Ikaw kuli yun? Doon lang po ako galing sa labas na, nang ipagkwinsuhan lang. O sige ha, sa susunod, dapat magsuot ka ng face mask mo at face shield mo para naman protektahan ka sa virus. Opo, ma, sige ma. O sige, pumasok ka na at magsanitize ka. Alis na ako? O, oh, saan ka man pupunta? Wala ka pang face mask at face shield ha? Sagot lang, kukuha ako. O oh, anak, ito ha, face mask, alcohol at face shield para naman makaiwas ka sa virus. Sige, maakin na po. Face mask. Alcohol, dito ka na ito ilalagay. And then, face shield. Hmm. Ganyan dapat ha, dapat lagi ka nakasuot ng face mask at face shield. Tapos nagdadala kayo ng alcohol. Para naman hindi ka mahawaan ng virus na galing sa labas. O sige, mag-iingat ka. O ma, sige, babay na po. Alis na ako. So guys, konting paalala lang, dapat paggabay, huwag na tayong lugbas. Dapat lagi tayong magsuot ng face mask, face shield, at saka magdala din tayo ng alcohol pang sanitize para makaiwas tayo sa germs. At lagi natin tatandaan na ang COVID-19 ay hindi basta-bastang sakit. Kaya dapat lagi tayong handa kasi naniniwala ko sa kasabihang ligtas ang may alam. Proper hand hygiene, wash your hands often with soap and water, especially after you've been in a public place, is significant. If soap and water are not available, use a hand sanitizer. Don't cough or sneeze into your hands. Cover your mouth and nose with your elbow or tissue when coughing or sneezing.
you should also stay vigilant by cleaning and disinfecting your home regularly, especially frequently touched surfaces. For example, objects like doorknobs, a TV set, and tables. The Department of Health advises the public to practice protective measures and is still the best way to protect yourself and the others against the COVID-19. Wear a mask. Determine which side of the mask is the front. Make sure the mask fits to cover your nose, mouth, and chin. And if possible, wear your face shield. Second, stay at least six feet apart from other people who are not in your household, even if you are wearing a face mask. Practice frequent and proper hand washing. Wash hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If there is no soap available, you can wash an alcohol based hand sanitizer. Cover your nose and mouth with a tissue or a sleeve when sneezing or coughing. Drop this at the least when a person sneezes or coughs or infectious. After that, throw the tissue after use. Avoid touching your face, your eyes, your nose, or your mouth with unwashed hands. Lastly, know the symptoms of the COVID-19. If you develop any symptoms, just please call your healthcare providers. If I were at the supermarket, the safety protocols that I would imply is that first, wearing your face mask and face shield will help to keep you and your customers from spreading the virus. Second, use new plastic bags for the packing and sealing produce. Remember, reusable plastic of fabric bags cannot be used at this time. Third, clean hands after each other customer interaction. Have a bottle of hand sanitizer available for the staff and another for the customers to use. Fourth, handling payments have two staff members present, one for the handling payments and one for the handling food and bagging items. Lastly, let us all get vaccinated. Once we are fully vaccinated, we may be able to start doing some things that we had stopped doing because of the pandemic that we are facing right now. Let us help one another. Please stay at home and stay hydrated, everyone. Thank you. But when you do have to leave at home to get your younger siblings module, don't forget to sanitize your hands. Always wear a face mask because it helps to prevent your respiratory droplets from reaching others. And wear a face shield if needed. Increased awareness against COVID-19 is one of the best ways to fight the spread of this disease. When it comes to reducing the spread of COVID-19, we all have a crucial role to play by staying vigilant and we should follow the protocols to stay safe. Always observe social distancing to avoid close contact with other people. Do not remove your face mask when you are in a public places. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Disinfect frequently touched objects. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially after being in a public place. Remember, the best prevention is to keep yourself healthy and follow the practical steps you can take to keep you and those around you safe and healthy. A virus disease or COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by a newly discovered coronavirus. Follow the general prevention advice. You should wear a face mask and face shield. Clean your hands frequently. Maintain a distance of at least 1 meter from others. The target temperature check from building entrance. Show quarantine pass or CCTS to enter the building. Avoid crowded places and unnecessary travel and close contact to people who are sick. 
Wash hands often for at least 20 seconds with soap and water. If you feel sick, stay at home. Avoid handshakes. Practice social distancing. When you cough, cover your mouth by coughing into your elbow. COVID-19 is transmitted from person to person via droplets, contact, and fomites. It is transmitted when one individual tasks, sneezes, or coughs, producing droplets of saliva containing the COVID-19. Since this quarantine started, individuals who are 18 below are not allowed to go out. Only 19 to 65 of age can leave their places of residence. It is important to wear a mask and face shield. We must sanitize. protocol everyone who comes out of their house and goes somewhere is required to wear a face mask and face shield all people who will enter to the public market will be undergo to contact temperature check prevention efforts will also include hand sanitizing before you enter to the public market you need to sanitize your hand first after that the guard will check your CCTS card Always maintain also at least 1 meter distance between yourself and others to reduce your risk of infection when they cough, sneeze, or speak. Indeed, the globe is still suffering from COVID-19 pandemic. And the governments throughout the world are trying their really best to secure and safety their people. We can't do anything because the virus is already there. All we have to do is to make sure ourselves not to be caught with the virus and safety our loved ones. Wherever and whenever you are, the following safety tips that I will give will be essential for us not to be caught with COVID-19 virus. Always wear your face mask and face shield. Second, have a social distancing with people. And most especially, let us support the government's hashtag resbakuna where we need to get be vaccinated for us to not be caught by the virus. Dahil ang resbakuna, kasangga ng mga tida. Always wear your face mask that can cover your nose and mouth to help protect yourself and others. Wearing face shield is necessary when entering public markets and we should undergo inter-contact temperature check. It also will include hand sanitizing and checking your safety is covered by the guards. Stay your cup is one to tell matter apart from others who don't live with you. Cause when it all falls down the river, when it all falls down the river, Hands up everybody, it's like to the night, it's for the night, and it's like to the night. Wash your hands often, with soft and water. Use hand sanitizer if soft and water are not available. All these health protocols I mentioned must be following. Now, here are some tips on how we can prevent to avoid getting infected with this kind of virus. First, wash your hands with soap for at least 20 seconds. Second, wear a face mask or face shield so that you can avoid getting droplets from other people. Third, sneeze or cough into an elbow. Fourth, keep and maintain six feet apart 
or 2 meters away from other people when you are in a public places. In going out, make sure that you are wearing your PPE. That stands for Personal Protective Equipment. First thing to do is to wear a face mask. Next thing to do is to wear a face shield and make sure that it covers your face, especially your eyes. Before going inside, make sure to sanitize your hands. You are going to make sure you are buying something in a crowded place to prevent getting in contact with people who possibly got the virus. This pandemic that we face today is a serious problem. It changed and affects our daily lives. It is a dangerous disease. Now, we are in the situation that we are fighting for the unseen enemies. It kills millions of lives. That's why we need to take care of ourselves. What are the best ways to protect ourselves against COVID-19 when we are in a mall? Use hand sanitizer as soon you in and out the store. You must maintain the social distancing at all costs. Wear your face mask at all costs. Avoid touching any surface. Do not try clothes in a trial room. Just take a bath when you reach at home. Lalabas po ako. May bibilhin pa ako sa labas. Saan ka ba pupunta? Alam mo, bawal lumabas na yun. Di ba sabi sa barangay na bawal lumabas? Para maiwasan na yung COVID ngayon, napakadami na lalabas lalabas ka pa. At alam mo ba na bakit tayo may curfew ngayon? Para maiwasan na yung pagkalat ng COVID-19 at mas mapapadali na gumaling ang lahat. At para guminhawan na din ang buhay natin. Kaya ikaw kapatid, kung wala ka naman ang gagawin na importante, dito ka na lang sa bahay at manatili para maiwasan natin ang pagdami ng COVID. Okay? Ha? Ganun po ba? Okay ate, hindi na po ako lalabas para sa safety natin ng pamilya natin. Salamat! Good day everyone! I am here to share some common foreign tips for you to avoid COVID-19. And one of the most common places we go is in the supermarket. Do not forget to bring some alcohol or hand sanitizers to disinfect door handles, baskets, and also your hands. Also, do not forget to bring your mask or wear a mask every time you go out. And don't even remove it even if it's hot or even if you just want to remove it for no reason. Staying away from crowded areas and observing a 1 meter distance to avoid contact and pre prevent the possibility of getting infected in case he or she is infected. This not only applies in markets but also in malls, parks, schools, and even outside of your house so you should be careful. Please be safe out there and follow all the protocols to avoid COVID-19. And staying in your house and staying healthy will prevent the spread of the virus or the COVID-19 and maybe someday things will go back to the way they used to be and stay negative and COVID and stay positive in life and thank you. Good day everyone. In this video, I will be talking about on how to keep ourselves protected in COVID-19. So, when we go out and go to the supermarket to buy our needs, first, we should wear a mask and facial. And then, bring alcohol to sanitize yourself. Yeah, and hand. So, and we always be minded that when we pick our needs in the supermarket, avoid one meter distance to other person to avoid social interacting so that COVID will not affect you and you will be safe and always be minded that when we go home um, don't enter first you should sanitize again yourself and to keep your family protected 
and that's all thank you so good day everyone so first let me introduce myself I am Jasper Dave Gumana Santiago from the BS Ed um, English major. So today's video, I will give you a little bit of idea on how to be protected on, or on how to battle COVID-19 in this time of pandemic. So uh, first, don't forget these three important items within yourselves to be protected. So number one. Wear face mask wherever we go. Number two, we need to wear face shield too to be more protected from the virus. And lastly, don't forget to bring alcohol all the time in order for us to sanitize our hands or to sanitize ourselves to be more protected. So, um, just always remember, prevention is better than cure. Uh, so don't forget to bring these three important items within ourselves every day to battle COVID-19. So stay safe, everyone. God bless. Good day, everyone. I am Marjorie Pasqua and I'm gonna discuss to you about the health protocols in this pandemic. So, but first, let us know what is COVID-19. COVID-19 is a disease or a virus that affects one's lungs and airways that causes shortened breath and weakened immune system as well as leads people to death. So here are some of the safety tips not to be infected. First, wash and sanitize your hands with soap and alcohol. Second, wear face mask. Don't step outside without face mask. Next, avoid going outside if not necessary. Stay at home. Last, keep one meter distance to people. Keep in mind that cautiousness make us safe. Keep safe everyone. Good day everyone. First, let me introduce myself. I am Naomi Felipe Tinoya from BSED Major in English. This video will show you the four important steps to reduce the spread of COVID-19 pandemic. First, so don't forget to wear face masks wherever we go. Second, we need also to wear our face shield to be more protective. Third, don't forget to bring alcohol all the time to order to sanitize our hands or ourselves. Fourth, maintain social distancing at least one meter distance between yourself and others to reduce the risk of infection when they cough, sneeze, speak. Remember, Prevention is better than cure. God bless and stay safe. And I will be Joy Novello and I will share you my thoughts about the do's and don'ts during this COVID-19 pandemic. So, for example, if you're going outside or pag-chismisan sa labas, kasi alam ko naman na chismis is life talaga yung mga pinag. So, pag ganito yung setup, ito yung setup, this is not the proper way are not practicing social distancing and not wearing face masks. So, you're not able to prevent the growth of COVID-19 case. But when you practice this or this, surely you are um, safe and away from the direct contact with COVID-19. Okay, just a reminder everyone, if there is no necessary things to do outside, please stop. We are not sure if the person you talk with a day before is safe. So, when you go out, if there is necessary things to do, follow safety protocols. Um, my hands is clean, so if I wash my hands, then okay, make sure that you sanitize. Don't forget your face mask. Don't your face mask and sanitize. If you have businesses outside or in the public, to set up for help. So again, this is Ruby Joy Lopoto and I am reminding everyone that if there's no important thing to do outside, just stay at home, okay? I know the cheese mix is life, but safety is priority. Have a good day, everyone.
Jenny Rose Andrian, and this video is about safety and health protocols. Due to COVID-19 pandemic, the government had imposed the new normal way of living where face masks, face shield, and sanitation is a mask. Before going to public places, make sure to wear your face shield, face mask, and don't forget your alcohol. And face shield is one of the health protocols that we must follow to secure our safety. As well as sanitizing our hands. So as a good citizen, we must follow this health protocol to avoid the spread of the virus. Good day everyone, I'm Divine Chule Al for now and I am here to demonstrate or explain some protocols of our Department of Health. Nowadays, people are instructed to go outside or to buy some foods in the store without wearing your face mask and face shield because some stores having a rule. Before you enter to their store, you have to wear your face mask and face shield and write your personal information in their logbook. After you write their inform personal information in the logbook, you have to sanitize yourself and your hands. If you then pay in the cashier, you have to practice social distancing. In order for that, you can avoid experiencing coronavirus. Thank you for watching everyone. God bless us all. Keep safe and stay hydrated. Thank you. The spread of the virus. First, wash your hands frequently in thoroughly soap and water for at least 20 or use an alcohol-based hand rub. Then, avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Hands can transfer the virus to your eyes, nose, or mouth and thus the virus can enter your body. Third, cover your cough and sneeze. Cover your mouth and nose with the bend of your elbow or with a tissue to avoid contaminating a person or a surface. Dispose the used tissue immediately into a closed bin and wash your hands. Fourth, Avoid close contact with others in crowded places. Maintain at least one meter of distance between yourself and anyone who has fever or cough. Avoid crowded places, especially if you are over 60 or have an underlying health condition. If stay at home if you feel unwell. Stay at home even with a slight fever and cough. Six, if you have a fever, cough, and difficulty in breathing, seek medical care but call first your, call your doctor or your local health. Hey guys, I'm here to show health tips and following COVID-19 health protocols. If you go outside, we need to wear face mask and face shield. Why we need to wear face mask? Masks are a simple barrier to help prevent your respiratory droplets from reaching others. It reduces the spray of droplets when worn over the nose and mouth. Washing your hands properly is one of the most important things you can do to help prevent and control the spread of many illnesses. If we are outside, we need always to have physical distancing, maintaining space between yourself and others is a best practice and is one of the best tools to avoid exposure to COVID-19 virus. Good day everyone! Today, I'm going to perform COVID health protocols to avoid you from viruses. These things can help you to prevent from viruses. First, you need face masks. Second, you need a rubbing alcohol. Third, a soap and of course, Water. Oh. Oh my god, I forgot my mask. <laughs> Go 
Kuya sa market. Alam, ang daming tao. Maintain social distances. Good day everyone. The video that I've shown to you is about practicing social distancing and wearing a mask. Practicing social distancing. Maintain at least 6 feet distance between you and others and avoid crowds. Wearing a mask. Make sure it covers both your nose and mouth. A cloth mask is a good alternative. Hi everyone, I am Alaysa Mambatawan and I will be sharing tips on how to stay safe in this era of COVID-19. The first tip, practice good hand hygiene. Wash your hands at least 20 seconds and if you can't use soap and water, hand sanitizer is a good alternative. Second tip, if you're outside, practice social distancing and try to avoid crowds. The third tip, wear mask. Make sure it covers your nose and mouth. The fourth tip, work from home if you can. Staying at home is the safest way you can look yourself. And if you're a student, avoid going to school campus. Instead, transact your errands through online. The last tip, don't ignore your symptoms. Contact your doctor if you have any symptoms in order to stop spreading. Symptoms of COVID-19 Most common symptoms, fever, dry cough, tiredness. Less common symptoms, aches and pains, sore throat, diarrhea, conjunctivitis, headache, loss of taste or smell, a rash on skin or discoloration of finger or toes. Serious symptoms, difficulty breathing or shortness of breath, chest pain or pressure, loss of speech or movement. In this video, I will show you the some safety tips to stop the increasing case of COVID-19. Are we capable to go out without face shield or face mask? Probably not. We need to wear face mask and face shield before we go outside to protect our health against COVID-19. If we were going to use fabric mask or cloth face mask, we need to wash it after we use. Then, if we're wearing surgical mask in some countries, it is advised to change your surgical mask every 4 hours. Therefore, you have to dispose it to protect your health. In addition, wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. It can help you to avoid virus. keep your home safe. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. If you can't use soap and water, hand sanitizer is a good alternative. But make sure that your hand sanitizer is 70% alcohol. Maintain at least 6 feet between you and others and please avoid crowds. Make sure it covers both your nose and mouth. If you don't have access to a surgical mask, a clothed mask is a good alternative. It is important to wear a mask and make sure those around you also wear a mask. Good day everyone, this is Lee Richard and Monasterio and today I'm going to share some tips on how to prevent getting infected of the COVID-19 virus. So these are the three most essential things that may help you to prevent getting infected with the said virus. So first, we must wear our own face mask for us to avoid inhaling the dangerous particles that may contain the COVID-19 virus. Especially, we knew that um, the COVID-19 virus is an airborne virus 
which is uh, very life threatening. So second is we always have to wear face shield for us to have more protection from the said virus. And last but not the least, we must have our own alcohol to sanitize and disinfect ourselves after we interact with other people. And it also helps to prevent the virus from spreading out. So that's all for today. Thank you everyone. Have a great day and stay safe always. In this video, it talks about the protocols that people should be followed. The first protocol, everyone who comes out in their house and goes somewhere is required to wear face masks and face shield. All people who will enter at school will be undergo the contact temperature check prevention. Efforts will also include hand sanitizing before you enter at school. You need to sanitize your hands first. After that, the guard will check your CVTS card. And also, you need to follow the contact tracing protocol by doing logbook your full name, contact number, and the name of your barangay. And also, always remember, maintain the one meter distance between yourself and others to reduce your risk infection when they cough, sneeze, or speak. All these health protocols have mentioned must be followed to minimize the risk of spreading the COVID-19 virus. Wear a mask when you are around people. But before putting a mask, make sure that your hands is clean with alcohol-based hand wash. Spend time outdoors to get some sun and boost your life. Okay, by eating well, balance to and exercise. Maintain social distancing. Avoid crowded places, especially when outdoors. Wash your hands and Why we should follow the protocol? We need to follow the protocol for us to maintain our safety and